now that we have uh, our cut confirmed, let's explore the trim and extract script. The extract script is going to uh, extract uh, each of your selected compositions into a separate file. You can either select uh, a number of compositions like this, or you can select a folder, or you can even select a folder which contains compositions inside uh, other subfolders, but then you have to click on search selection recursively to make sure that all other folder, subfolders are uh, taken care of. I'm not going to export these two compositions, I'm only going to export this uh, folder, so I don't have to uh, have this selection. I'm going to create another folder and uh, export our compositions to this folder. And also I'm going to click on extract comps into separate directories to make sure that uh, every composition and uh, its source media is going to be placed into a separate uh, directory. Now there are three ways you can export the compositions depending on what you want to do with them. Uh, if you just want to have compositions, uh, simply choose this option and everything will be fine. If you want to collect files to export them, uh, you can use collect files and it's, this is the same as choosing file dependencies, uh, collect files for each composition in this uh, project. But, uh, for example, here in this project, if I wanted to just collect files and uh, distribute them to artists, I would have about 100 gigabytes to uh, send over the internet, uh, which might take quite a long time. So I'm going to choose the third option, which is trim footage. And uh, this option for each composition is going to select footage that is only present in this composition and is going to encode the part of the footage depending on the render settings. And, uh, of course, you can select your render settings here and also uh, choose uh, which compression to use if you have files without alpha channel and files with alpha channel. Of course, all the presets that are available uh, in the render queue are present here. I created my own presets for ProRes uh, export and I used uh, ProRes 42 HQ for uh, files without alpha channel and uh, 444 uh, 4 plus alpha for uh, files with alpha channel. Um, there are three options here. One is uh, leave original media in trim pro project and mm -hmm. what it's going to do is it's going to leave the layer, only the layer with uh, the media and it's not going to copy the media into the uh, directory. Uh, I will have this one turned on to show you two possible issues that you can encounter uh, while using this uh, script. Also you can add handles but since we have uh, handles in the compositions already I'm not going to add more handles to the media. And uh, finally, if you have, uh, for example, jump cuts that have uh, like three or four frames missing between them, then if you click on this option, uh, you can make sure that only one file will be exported instead of uh, one file uh, for each layer. For this project, uh, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to leave it on. Of course, you can save the, uh, the defaults, so next time when you open the script, uh, you don't have to choose your render settings and all this options, uh, they are already set for you. So we really tried to make it as comfortable to use as uh, possible. So now I'm going to click, click proceed and it's going to start encoding the compositions. And as you can see, it's streaming the media and encoding them and saving them into a separate di directories, which we'll see right after this is finished. Because it's encoding, it's going to take quite a while for this project to to complete. So I will come back once everything is done. Okay, now that uh, the project is done, I'm going to show you a few limitations that you might encounter uh, during using this uh, script. So let me now navigate here and let's open a composition. I'm going to enable time remapping here to show you the time code. As you can see, uh, there is uh, an off time code offset that uh, is present here, but the footage is aligned. This is unfortunately uh, an After Effects bug, and uh, I have found no way to code around it because there is no rhyme or reason why sometimes the code is uh, the time code is correct, and sometimes it's shifted by one or even two frames when the time code is uh, higher than 19 hours. This might be a limitation in some workflows. Uh, I just want you to be aware of it. Another thing, let's find another composition. Again, I'm going to enable timer remapping here. 
and also I'm going to show the stretch. Because of the way After Effects calculates stretch, you might uh, sometimes notice the discrepancies between the timecode. There's also no way around it if you use trimming because uh, it might so happen that uh, the trimming starts at non-integer value of uh, the timecode. Of course, we make sure that the whole layer is uh, uh, trimmed and you are not missing anything, but uh, it's uh, not really possible to make sure that uh, time codes align perfectly. So, so you might expect some subframe differences in the stretched layers. Right now, as you can see, it's aligned here, and here you can see a slight, very slight shift uh, in the alignment. So I hope these two limitations do not discourage you from using uh, the Trim and Extract script. Uh, it's, I think it's really uh, great. I have not seen any solution on the market that allows you to trim your footage. And I hope you will find it uh, very useful in your workflow.